It's June 24th, 2019. Um, it's been kind of rainy and a little chilly here in Seattle. Let's start here with the updates. These guys look pretty much the same over here. And then down here we have the succulents. Um, the elephant food looks good. And this uh, frizzle sizzle, you can see this new curly leaf is standing straight. And there's a few more new ones coming up. And here we have the tomato. Um, you can see it kind of looks a little different from the one I got last year. Might be because this is uh, from seed instead of uh, direct transplant. But here we have some flowers that has opened already. Hopefully we can get some tomatoes. They might taste different though. And here we have the wildflowers. Um, this is the California poppy some weird mutation going on over here um, and then yeah we have a lot more California poppy flowers that's gonna open up pretty soon lavender you can see some of the flowers are fading away now but there's still a lot of flowers and they're attracting a lot of uh, bumblebees which is a good sign Rosemary um, doesn't look too much, but I think it has started to send out some new growth again. This one looks pretty much the same. Hydrangea, this one is very pink. You can see the flowers are completely pink um, on that bush. And then over here on this medium bush, you can see the flowers a little more purple. And then, yeah, this one is kind of purplish as you can see. And then going down over here, this flower is more towards blue now. And if you keep going down, um, the flowers over here are like mostly blue. And because it's been raining, the weight is kind of collapsing the bush a little bit. And this biggest bush over here is producing mostly um, purple flower and some blue flower underneath. And then over here, we have some more succulents. Um, peony doesn't look like too much. And yeah, succulents looks pretty much the same all over the place. This guy is, looks like it's doing pretty well. And then over here, we have the green onion. It's doing very well, actually. And the pineapple doesn't look like it's changing too much. Hopefully, it's going to take off, though. The growth, I mean. Here we have the mulberry. You can see this fruit over here is kind of turning red now. You can see a little tint of red. Let's see. And over here, actually, you can see a mature fruit. Look at this. It's completely dark purple-ish. This is a mature fruit. Let's try to harvest it. Oh, it just came off so easily. And yeah, this is our first mulberry gonna try it later it's pretty tiny fruit though well it's the first year so and down here we have more fruits that's just started to turn red um, and there's another fruit you can see it's turning kind of reddish too so yeah we're gonna have a lot more mulberry fruits here we have the dahlia, you can see right here I harvested this flower for indoor, and this is what it looks like. And here we have a few more uh, dahlia flowers that's going to open up. This one too. And then down here we have the lily of the valley, um, you can see this um, seeds, or fruits are getting bigger. I think it's starting to turn yellow. I can see a little bit of a hint of yellow in there. And then here we have the blueberry. Um, leaves are going pretty well and the fruits you can see they're getting bigger now. Like this one, it's getting kind of a decent size. There's a lot more fruits over that there and on that branch. Um, and then down here, you can see all these blueberries. They're very uh, decent size. 
So yeah, can't wait for the blueberry harvest. It's gonna be crazy. Here we have the cow lily. Um, I remember last week I counted there's like five or six flowers. So this is one of them. You can see that's one. And then this is another one. And then here's another one. It has opened up. It looks pretty cool. And then here we have another one. And then here's another one. And then here's another one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six flowers total. And I actually harvested the flowers for indoor. And this is what it looks like. And if you look closely, there's actually two different varieties of cow lily. One that has a more white yellowish outline, and the other one that's mostly completely pink slash um, purplish. Here we have strawberries, just sending out runners now. Uh, just more runners over here. I think I'm probably gonna probably toss away most of the strawberry this year. And this blueberry looks pretty much the same. It's actually developing some uh, blueberry fruits over here. And the number of fruits is definitely not comparable to the other fish. Here we have the daffodil and some random potato plants. And here, this pot over here, um, the succulents, as you can see, um, most of the flowers are gone now. And asparagus and that cosmo looking plant. Raspberry, you can see that branch is <laughs> taller than me now. Down here we have a few more raspberry fruit that is ready for harvest. And here's another fruit that's ready for harvest as well. All the fruits are looking really full. Thanks to the bees, they've done a great job pollinating the flowers. This is the harvest I did on June 17th. And this is the harvest I did on June 24th, which is today. And here we have the grape. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Still sending out a lot of new shoots. Here we have the rhubarb. Some damage to the leaves. Probably slugs. And down here you can actually see um, the plants is sending out a lot of new baby plants. Which is interesting. Here we have the bulb plants. I can probably put these away. They're all pretty much died back now. Potato, you can see it's sending out flowers again. I'm um, gonna snip this off. So it um, expenses most of its energy into the actual potato instead of producing flower and seeds. The potato plants is actually getting super huge. Here we have the artichoke. Um, the flower is actually a lot bigger than I thought it's gonna be. But yeah, this one is actually comparable to a store bot size. And here's this tiny little sibling on the side. But yeah, look at the size of this artichoke flower. I'm gonna harvest it, um, I don't know. I'm gonna check online, and here we have the ladybug prepay. And for the indoor garden, um, I'm just gonna check on a few plants. Here we have the Hoya. Um, let's check on the new growth. You can see the stem is getting longer now. And here on the other branch, you can see another new growth that's gonna come up pretty soon. Yeah, the Hoya plant is pretty active right now, sending out a lot of new growth. The spider plants, not too much. Prayer plants, you can see it's sending out a lot more new leaves, and actually it's still sending out um, some flowers, like these ones over here. And here's another flower spike. You can see a few more flowers. And the philodendron, it's very nice. You can see the vines are getting super long. Down here we have the Orchids, there's not too much to talk about really, just just gonna check on the new growth, like this one and that one. Um, down here, yeah, not too much. 
pretty much the same thing. This one, there's this weird new growth over here on this bulb thing. Um, the Starcom Fern, um, you can see right here, it's actually sending out a, um, what is it? A shield front, yes. So I think it's seasonal. It only comes out during probably the summer. So this is just a close-up of what the shield front looks like. You can see it's like a little plate slash disc. This one, I don't think it's uh, there's too much going on with this one. Here we have another orchid. Uh, yeah, looks pretty much the same. String of pearls, Easter cactus. You can see it's still sending out new leaves. Wonder when it's gonna flower. Around Easter? I don't know. And then here we have some succulents. You can see this guy. The leaf is um, pretty big, actually. And here we have some baby plants. Here we have some um, plants and water. Doesn't look like too much is going on. Bird nest fern. Haven't checked it for a while. So yeah, here's bird nest fern. And some prayer plants and water. Roots are getting kind of messy though.